First tonight, a tragic story out of Providence. A seven-year-old girl dies after being pulled from a home right here on Lucy Street. Police say her two-year-old sister is fighting for her life tonight in critical condition. 12 News reporter Sheena Lusciuto has been tracking this story all afternoon and night. She joins us now live with what officials are saying. Sheena. Well, tonight we're live at Hasbro Children's Hospital here in Providence. This is where police say the two girls were rushed to after being pulled from that fire. And this is where that two year old remains in critical condition tonight. It wasn't just a home lost Tuesday after a three alarm fire in Providence. Providence police say a seven year old girl has died. Her two year old sister is in critical condition. Assistant Fire Chief Michael Bates says the property was already engulfed in flames when crews got there. Yeah, these are very emotional events. You know, most of our firefighters have youngsters as well. And combined with the holidays, um, and it's just such a challenge. You know, when, when they show up, they want to do the best possible job they can. And we always want a, a, a really good outcome. And so it takes its toll on our people. And, Knowing kids were inside, Bates says crews worked aggressively to get them out. The two girls were rushed to the hospital. Mayor Lorza applauding the brave efforts of the fire department. I literally got into the house through a, through a window, uh, through a ladder. Sadly, hours later, police confirmed the fire turned fatal. The powerful flames reached the homes next door, displacing several others. Neighbors were seen packing up Christmas presents as restoration crews were seen boarding up the damage. This is all while the state's fire marshal's office looks for what led to this tragic scene. We have uh, about 14 people that are displaced. We have the Red Cross on the scene that's here providing services and help to them to make sure that they have what they need a place to stay and some clothing and you know all of their needs are taken care of. So it's just a terrible situation right now, but um, you know, I'm very thankful for you know, our brave men and women in our fire department. Now at this point, it's unclear if those two kids were home alone at the time of the fire. Tonight, multiple agencies continue looking into what caused this fire in the first place. We're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Lusciuto, 12 News.